Hey guys, so I got to try the Halo Top non-dairy ice cream. They have seven flavors. They had four at my store. They had the peanut butter cup, the cinnamon roll, the oatmeal cookie, and the sea salt caramel. I don't like them. <laughs> Oh man, I was really excited for these flavors. Um, they have much less sugar than your average ice cream. They have a little bit more protein, which is cool. So a pint is around 300 calories and about 12 grams of protein, um, less than their standard flavors. Their standard, I think it's like 20 grams of protein, but I mean, it's got lots of egg and stuff in it, right? So um, yeah, so that's, that's still pretty good, right? Using pea protein and whatnot to get it up to 12 grams for a whole pint. Like, that's pretty cool. It's not, doesn't like make it health food or anything, but it's certainly healthier than like a Ben and Jerry's, right? Where like half of a cup is 200 something calories and like 20 something grams of sugar, right? And like one gram of protein. I mean, it is better then. But yeah, they're just, they're just not for me. So I'll start with the, the best of the four. The best one would be the uh, peanut butter cup. The taste is pretty good. And I have to say, I do like the texture of these. Um, it says on the container that, you know, it, it, um, it gets pretty like hard in the freezer. So you should let it sit out for a few minutes before you dig into it, um, which I've found is the case for like most of the non-dairy ice creams. You should let it sit out for like three, four or five minutes. Um, but honestly with these, I've had no problem just scooping into them right out of the freezer. Um, yeah, and like I said, the texture is really nice. It's it's fairly airy. Um, yeah, it's, it's not icy at all. Like some of the non-dairy milks can be, even when you let them sit out, they can be a little bit icy. Sometimes the, the uh, silk or not silk, the so delicious uh, ones can be like that. I found the texture really nice, pretty creamy, airy, not the super dense, like the, the haagen or even the Ben and Jerry's, uh, but pretty nice. So yeah, the peanut butter cup tastes pretty good. Very peanut buttery. I love peanut butter. So I mean, what's not to love? It's really good. Uh, it's got like ribbons of, of peanut butter in it. The cinnamon roll would probably be my next favorite. It definitely tastes like a cinnamon roll, which is delicious. I love lots of cinnamon. So uh, yeah, it's nice. It's also got little pieces of, they're kind of like, like doughy pieces, almost like cinnamon roll pieces in there, which kind of sounds disgusting and my partner's not a fan of it, but I, I really like, it's good. Um, the third one, I guess would be the oatmeal cookie. That one, tastes like an oatmeal cookie, which is kind of weird. I don't know if I like that in an ice cream. Cinnamon roll, I'm totally fine with, but oatmeal cookie, I don't know, it's a little weird. Just makes me want an oatmeal cookie. And also they have pieces of oat in it, J just pieces of oat. It's weird. And then the fourth one would be the sea salt caramel, which I don't like at all. I think I took two bites of that and was like, nope, not for me. It's just got that kind of burnt caramel taste that's just not, it's just not for me. They are really sweet. It's not like they don't taste sugary or anything. They definitely do. I think they did a really good job with the the um, sugary taste with the use of, I think there's stevia in there. I think they used erythritol. Um, I can't remember what else, but they, they do a really good job making it taste like ice cream and not like, oh, this is this is not real sugar, right? They did a good job. But my, my problem is with this after effect that it has. And the only thing I can really compare it to is like Szechuan peppercorns. If you've ever had a Szechuan dish and you get that sort of numbing effect from the peppercorns, it's not like that, but it's, it's, it's more of a, it's not a numbing. It's like a tingling and it's in the like middle of my tongue and it's not enjoyable. I don't like it. There's also this like kind of coating, um, it's almost like if you've had uh, uh, Captain Captain Crunch, is that what it's called? Captain Crunch cereal, uh, where it coats your entire mouth with that like starchy whatever it is. And it's, it's kind of gross, right? I mean, I love Captain Crunch, but it's kind of gross. Um, it's kind of like that, it like coats your mouth and that, you know, whatever, it's not that big of a deal, but the tingly feeling on my tongue is weird. This is kind of advertised as like, wow, look, you can eat a whole pint. You know, it's only 300 calories versus whatever normal ice, you know, again, Ben and Jerry's, you're looking at what, like a thousand calories a pint. So it's like, wow, look how much you can eat and 12 grams of protein, wow. But there's no way I could possibly eat that much. I mean, number one, it's not ice cream that I want to eat a whole lot of. I mean, that's kind of the conundrum, right? I mean, you can you can make like really low calorie ice cream, but I, I don't wanna eat a pint of it at that point. You know, I wanna eat a pint of Ben and Jerry's. I wanna eat a pint of not a moo or of haagen -Dazs, but but then you're getting again, like a thousand calories. I guess my point is that I would rather have one serving of a really good, you know, ice cream, Ben and Jerry's 
chocolate brownie or whatever than have an entire pint of Halo Top. But back to the tongue feeling, you know, I like I can tolerate it. I can have one serving of ice cream and I can tolerate it. I still don't like it. But eating any more than that, like I tried having two servings, like it's kind of it's kind of brutal. It doesn't hurt, but uh, it's not it's not nice. And it just gets more and more intense the more that I eat. So I can't even I can't even imagine eating like a whole pint of this. So kind of defeats the purpose, I guess. I don't know. I doubt very many people are eating a whole pint, right? I mean, if you care enough to buy like healthier junk food, then you're probably not going to eat that much of it, I would imagine. But um, yeah, it's it's just not for me. It's, it's mediocre ice cream, I would say. It's better than the Simple Truth non-dairy ice cream. That's bottom of the barrel. There's a reason it's half the price of something like Ben & Jerry's or Not A Moo. Uh, it's not great. But uh, it's it's better than that, but but not by much. And again, that weird feeling. Um, I would love to know what it is. I don't know what in the ice cream is doing that. Um, some people on Patreon suggested the pea protein, but I've had pea protein a lot. I mean, the the milk that I drink, the protein nut milk, is pea protein. I definitely don't get that. Um, and again, my partner had the same same thing, same tongue feeling. So. Um, yeah, I would love to know what it is. And I guess that's it. That was, that was a, a disappointment. I was pretty excited for this one. It's so funny. I was excited for this one. It's not for me. I, I'll never buy this again. It wasn't cheap either. It was $5.99 each. Never, ever buy this ice cream again. Whereas I was not excited about the Nanamu. I've been putting that off for a while because it's coconut milk based and just did not sound good. And oh my God, I love it so much. Also not cheap. $6.99 a pint. Really ridiculous, but... Gosh, I, I dream about that ice cream. Anyway, thank you so much for watching, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. Comments and questions down below. If you want to subscribe, that's awesome. And if you want to support the channel, you can do so at patreon.com slash unnaturalvegan. Oh, and if you have tried Halo Top, please let me know what you think. Um, I think I read one review from someone who loved it. She like hated all the other non-dairy milks, but she really loved the, maybe it was the cinnamon roll? I can't remember. And that's great. Like I want people to like it, right? The more non-dairy options that we have, the more likelihood that someone is going to find something that they love. Anyway, thanks again. New video soon.